Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session we are going to see the auto correlation feature in Loadrunner. Let me log into this application. I log in here and when I go to this flight screen it shows 26th October and 27th October. If you look at today's date it is 25th October. So by default this takes tomorrow as the departure date and day after tomorrow as the return date. And the moment I choose say Denver and London and then click continue, it shows uh, airline number 020, Blue Sky Air, flight number 020 and the price is 338. If I go back and then choose uh, London to Frankfurt and then continue it shows flight number 010 with 386 as the price. So what happens is when you go to the screens there are some fields that are coming with dynamic values and based on what you feed in one screen the next screen comes with dynamic values. I have recorded uh, a particular script yesterday so what happened is, yesterday was 24th October, it was showing 25th and 26th as the dates and uh, since it is Denver to Frankfurt, it is showing flight 020 and the amount is 338 and this is the date. I recorded the script yesterday, it worked fine yesterday. Now I am going to run today. Let us see what happens. Uh, before that let me go here and then check there is no tickets okay no tickets are booked I come to this control the virtual user generator uh, when the virtual user generator runs you will see a step navigator this is almost like uh, uh, what is the action being taken at each step these are all the line numbers other than seeing lengthy lines over here you just see only the command so this also shows the moment you mouse over it shows the screenshot so I mouse over here it will show you the screenshot of that so that by mousing over you will come to know what exactly it is happening now it is running it logs in then it tries to the tries to reserve it but it says failed when it fails it says requested form not found that when I double click on that it says I am not able to submit the screen so something has happened wrong. This usually happens when, when you record with one data and some of the dynamic data is not matching what the script expects. To resolve this problem, click on this. This is the Design Studio or also known as Correlation Studio. You click over here. It will say what was the difference between the previous response and current response. It says uh, it, it has found a date field 10 25 2013 this is another date this is another flight number whatever we are seeing especially in this particular line this is the flight number this is the price and this is the date so it says these three things have changed dynamically from yesterday to today so what you need to do is this is called auto correlation feature you select that line click correlate it says correlation parameter is done select the second line correlate select the third line correlate then you replay and scan when you say scan it will again find out whether there are any problems in the script okay now we have done some correlation because of correlation you could see some of these parameters web register save param regular expression this is a uh, auto, auto, auto correlation command. So you could see the commands automatically getting uh, stored inside the script. We have not done any coding. It is automatically done by load runner. That's why it says do not change. The original value was this. Now this is a new value and this it has been parameterized automatically correlation parameter correlation parameter underscore one. So whenever there is a dynamic data change there is a high chance that the script fails. So now it starts running. Now it says 
again it says I am seeing some of these things are failing. So we need to find out why exactly it is failing. Let us do a uh, analysis on this part. Okay, it was uh, failing in this form saying that the form is not found. If you carefully look at it, the way correlation works is before this response is coming from this it is extracting some value for example the automatic dates this date 1026 and 1025 they are all coming dynamically from the previous response so it takes the parameter departure date and then a D stands for integer so it takes the integer portion of it and then it is making it as correlation parameter same way it was taking the second date then in the flights response this is the whole stuff that we need to parameterize 020 semicolon 338 semicolon 1025 2013 the flight actually the whole stuff comes in this parameter correlation parameter underscore 2 so what happened in this when we do the automatic correlation here the date was present so first it was replaced with the f date parameter but load runner actually did not replace this portion but you and I know the whole string has to be replaced by the dynamic string of this 020338 and it is correlation parameter underscore 2 so I go here manually I go and then edit the script remove that portion and then say uh, correlation parameter underscore 2 save the script now I run this so when you do the automatic correlation when there are multiple uh, parameters found there is a high chance that it may be uh, actually not replacing the way exactly you want so better first go for auto correlation then you manually examine where it has replaced those parameters it is it's a simple concept from the request you get a response from that response there's a dynamic value extract that portion pass it to the subsequent request that is the correlation so this is the page in the response of this page extract this parameter too that's what it says so what we are doing is we are extracting a portion of the response passing it to the subsequent request that is exactly happening now now it is working you will see a ticket getting booked for today's date the script was now it is uh, saying a green tick mark let us go back to this click on itinerary yes it has booked a ticket for 10 26 2013 so this is actually handled by virtual user generator this is mainly because application sends dynamic data the flight number the price the date everything is a dynamic data so this command web register save param regular expression this command extracts this is the regular expression which is automatically formed based on the dynamic text it extracts the first portion stores it in parameter 2 this request needs that value so tomorrow if I change the destinations also for example I make instead of Denver to Frankfurt I change it to Denver to London okay the script should work because when you say Denver to London that's a dynamic text and the flight number price everything is dynamic that is coming from the server side virtual user generator will go and then check the response text from there it will extract the flight portion something like 020 semicolon 338 it will come in the response instead of this a different text will come it will automatically extract that text pass it on to the actual reservation screen this correlation feature is mainly involved for uh, any dynamic text uh, parameterization especially when you deal with uh, Java based application there will be something called a J session ID which will come dynamically if you use dotnet applications there will be an underscore underscore view info so now the text run the script runs it has not got into any errors it says uh, ran successfully let us go to the, sc uh, the screen now if you see it has booked a ticket for Denver London the 
flight is 020, the price is 338, right? So this is exactly what we want. If you change any of these data now in the script, whether you change the date, whether you change the class, whether you change the number of passengers. Now I change the number of passengers to 2, okay? Let us try this one. Previously, we booked for only one passenger. Now I'm changing it for number of passengers too. For two passengers, the price will be different. So what will happen is, it will take whatever dynamically comes as the price and flight, it will go and then book that particular flight. The flight will be the same, but the price will be different. So whenever you are changing your data, server will also send some dynamic data unless your load runner script has that correlation feature enabled and the correlation commands in place the script will not work so whenever you get into this kind of a dynamic data related issues uh, check in the design studio or correlation studio see which are the dynamic texts that are appearing in the script apply the correlation there then the script will start working Remember, so far we have not done any coding because it doesn't require the tool is that kind of a sophisticated one. Now I go back to the script, uh, the screen. I click on the itinerary. Previously, we booked Denver to London with one passenger. The price was 338. Now, two coach tickets. Okay, single coach, air close coach class ticket for. Uh, Denver to London in flight 020 was booked for 338. Now it has booked two coach class tickets, the same start and destination, but the price has been different. So all these things are dynamically handled in the correlation studio. So with that, we stop this session. Thank you for visiting openmentor.net.